Carlo, when I first heard about a multiverse, many different universes, maybe an infinite number of them, it was metaphysics, it was philosophy, it was uh, science fiction. Uh, today, fast forward several decades, it's uh, conventional wisdom, certainly here at the FQRXI uh, conference on physics, cosmology. Uh, virtually everybody believes that there is some kind of multiverse, very different kinds, but some kind of multiverse. You're a little bit skeptical. I'd love to know why. I am skeptical. I am skeptical about multi-universe. Um, let, let me put it clear. Uh, it's not that a priori uh, it, there couldn't be, in some sense, uh, something else outside the universe. Uh, there are many versions of the idea of multi-universe, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, Max Stegmark has a list of all of yeah. them and, uh, and defends <laughs> even a more wild version. <laughs> um, and I do have an, a tremendous respect for people who, 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 who explore the directions. Um, the conference we heard, uh, uh, Anthony Aguirre gave a very nice presentation of the, uh, related to the multi-universe. So it, there's nothing intrinsically wrong. I don't think that is necessarily uh, metaphysic and not science, uh, that is, well, we cannot see them, therefore they don't exist. No, no, that's not that. Uh, but very simply, and uh, as a down-to-earth scientist, uh, I don't see neither uh, the strong evidence for them, for multi-universe now, nor some compelling reason to go there. And especially, it seems to me that we have more urgent problems to solve. I mean, we don't know quantum gravity here in our universe. I mean, just here. We see, we see thousands of black holes forming. What happened in the center is a problem of quantum gravity, which has nothing to do with the multi-universe. Sure. We see our own Big Bang, and something quantum has happened there. Uh, I don't see a direct use of the notion of multi-universe uh, so far, and I don't see any nearby possibility of measuring effect of multi-universe. Uh, so if some courageous mind, a soul, want to explore it, it's fine, uh, but I think it's a bit premature. And you're, uh, you're skeptical, you're open-minded about it, but you're also saying that maybe it's not the most important item on our agenda right now. Precisely. Well, I don't think that should stop us. I mean, we, we should explore quantum gravity for sure, and maybe that's a priority, but multi multiple universes seem such a fundamental part of the structure of reality, if they, are, if they do exist or if they don't. Each answer is, is filled with awe and, uh, and uh, um, uh, more than wonder, uh, you know, frightening. If we're the only universe, what does that mean? Or if there's an infinite number of universes, what does that mean? Either way, I'm just, uh, uh, you know, you're just terrified by it. So I think it, I feel the urgency of it, uh, and I would say there are two uh, approaches to it. One is a theoretical one, and one is an observational one. On the theoretical side, what I'm told, and you tell me if I'm told wrong, is that in um, that multiple universes is the natural consequence of the theories that we have, the best theories for our own universe. So if we try to explain the beginnings of our own universe with inflationary theory, we have no choice but to accept multiple universes. It's the natural consequence. That's the theoretical side. Hmm. Um, maybe. Uh, I think we uh, are uh, still confused about inflation. Uh, we uh, don't have a clear theory of inflation of our single universe, uh, we should, on the theoretical side, we might first have to set this one <laughs> first and then see whether it implies existence of our universes. Again, uh, you said uh, 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 that it's an urgent question to, to ask. It's an urgent question to ask because uh, people have been talking about that. Um, I believe that we are very far from understanding everything about nature. We are very far from the final theory of the world. We have understood this, and then we have understood this, and when we have understood this. Uh, very well. Now we might understand this. Not necessarily that. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I think science uh, might be more productive uh, if it tackles the the open problems here and now, instead of trying the final theory of every the, the, the theory of everything, or the, 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 the 
theory of all possible universes. Uh, uh, we have to stay where we are strong uh, element, stronger element of evidence. Uh, but I may be wrong. I'm not. I, I'm not. I don't hold this position with uh, any, not not even certainty. But you know, I if I have to decide where to work, I think it's uh, speculative enough to try to happen in the center of a black hole. But I think we have quantum mechanics, which is reliable, generativity, which is reliable. And you know, working on this, we might understand something good. Uh, Do you think it's possible to have observational uh, evidence from multiple universes? Some people claim that that you can. A uh, few say that even they think they've found it, whether it's voids in the uh, cosmic uh, background radiation um, or different uh, patterns in that, spirals or whatever, or or voids in the um, the universe where there's less matter than there sh should be. And I mean, there are claims that you c there can be uh, imprints of other universes on our universes. Do you think that's possible? I don't think for the moment there is any convincing evidence whatsoever. Uh, but I don't think either that it is a priori impossible. Uh, so I'm not among those who say, oh, come on, this is a, a priori impossible to even talk about yeah, other universes. Yeah. Uh, you know, there was a time in the past where people said it's a priori impossible to study the chemistry of outside the planet Earth because we cannot go there. Yeah. It was wrong, obviously. We have spectroscopy and we can do that. Uh, so maybe at some point we will get there, but, uh, but we're not there. Uh, it seems to me we're not there. It seems to me there are more urgent problems, more doable problems.